Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kyla Scott and I'm Stephen Pappas. Our top story tonight. Three separate shootings have taken place in Monroe since Sunday and this week's Arkham is most wanted. NBC 10's Chelsea Monet goes over who's been captured and who's still on the run. Take a look. Over the past few days, the city of Monroe plagued with shootings, leaving several victims behind, some who have died. Suspects are on the run and authorities say they're doing everything that they can to see them behind bars. This is Isabian Webb. He's wanted on three counts of attempted first degree murder stemming from a shooting on South 12th Street on February 5th. He allegedly fired gunshots at authorities with an AR style rifle. In October 2022, Webb and two other juveniles broke out of the Green Oaks Detention Center. His accomplices captured, but Webb still on the run and now back on local authorities' radar. Right now, an award up to $10,000 is being offered for information leading to an arrest or a grand jury indictment. Now, take a good look at your screen. The man you are now looking at is a person of interest following a murder that took place on State Street in Monroe, also on February 5th, taking the life of 44-year-old Derek Moore. Officers' investigation led them to arrest 18-year-old Nakia Baker in this case for a felony criminal conspiracy to commit murder, but they're still looking for the prime suspect. Now, this is Xavier Gibbons. He's wanted in a murder that happened at a convenience store on Winsboro Road on February 7th. On Wednesday morning, law enforcement confirmed they had arrested Jarvis L. Johnson in connection to the shooting. Three people were shot and one person died. For more details on all of these cases, visit us at myarchimus.com and call Crime Stoppers at 318-388-CASH if you have any information to help close these cases. Your tips help bring fugitives to justice. For Arkham's Most Wanted, I'm Chelsea Monet. And for more local fugitives that have been captured, be sure to pick up a copy of the Justified newspaper at your local convenience store.